All right, so for 76, we have that the graph of f prime, which is the derivative of f, is shown here from negative three, three to three. And we wanna figure out what intervals is f increasing. So remember the derivative tells you the rate of increase, gives you an idea of how the behavior of the function is changing. So when f prime is positive, so when f prime is greater than zero, that means that f is increasing. Doesn't matter if it goes up and down above the x-axis, like all along this region, it's positive. So then we can say from negative one up to three, it's gonna be increasing. So then the answer will be B. Um, number 77. We got that the rate at which water leaks from a tank in gallons per hour is modeled by R, which is, a, which is a differential function of the number of hours after the leak is discovered. Which of the following is the best interpretation of R prime of three? Okay, so we already told that R um, represents rate, like the rate of, of which the water is leaking. So R prime would be like the rate of the rate. So think of it like R as like velocity and then like R prime as like acceleration. So R prime is basically, is basically gonna talk about how fast the rate of water leaking is changing by um, at time equals three, or t which is three hours. So let's say the amount of water in gallon, which is it's not gonna be this, then we're gonna talk about amount of water, we're still talking about rate, the amount of change in gallons per hour in which the rate is leaking during the three hours after <laughs> this is a funny answer, but not it's not gonna be it's not gonna be B. The rate at which water leaks from the tank in gallons per hour, three hours into the tank. No, like um, that's what R is. R is already telling you that. The rate of change at, at, of the rate of change of the rate at which water leaks from the tank in gallons per hour per hour, three hours after the leak is discovered. So it, it's gonna be D. Right on um, 78, the particle moves along the x-axis. The velocity of the particle at time t is given by this equation, v of t equals four over t cubed plus one. If the position of the particle is, is x equals one when t equals two, what's the position when t equals four? Okay, so for this, we just can integrate from two to four. So we're going to integrate v of t from 2 to 4. So that's going to tell you um, from, from time 2 to time 4, where did it like end up? Like how it traveled and where it ended up at time t equals 4. So um, we're given velocity. So um, we just can simply... You just can simply use our graphing calculator to plug this in. I'm trying to think if there's another way to do it. I mean, this would be S of four minus S of two, but um, we don't have those really. So, um, well, actually, let me first make this out. So remember, this is gonna be, V is the derivative of S. So when you integrate this, you're finding the antiderivative. So you're taking S of four minus S of two. So when we're gonna integrate this in our calculator, we're gonna get some number. That net number is gonna be equal to S of four minus S of two. And we're given that the position at, at two seconds, S of two is one. So this is equal to S of four minus one. So let's first find what S of, uh, let's first integrate this in our calculator. So we can use our calculus function with numeric, the, the numerical integral from two to four of four over t cubed plus one, or we'll just have x cubed plus one instead. And we'll get this. 
So 0.35 ish is going to be equal to that. 0.352565 equals this. And so we just add one of this and we'll get S4 from that. And so we'll get about 1.3527. And so the answer will be C. Here's 79. We're given this graph of F. And we were asked to figure out of which intervals is F continuous but not differentiable. Okay, so um, remember it's continuous when you don't have any holes or points of discontinuity. So there's a point of discontinuity here and here. You got the jump and a hole here. Now it's not gonna be differentiable at points where you have like a sharp curve. So like over here, because when you're coming from the left, the slope is gonna be like something like that. But on the right side, on this side, the slope is like negative. So the slope from both sides when you approach this point here is not equal. So it's not gonna be differentiable at that, at that point there. So let's look at the interval that has that. So from two to three-ish, we'll say. All right, so then the answer will be C. All right, so there you go.